Yo, what up? It's Air Moses Gang, and this is episode 22 of the Lion Podcast. Man, like it or not, you can die in a spot. Bang! And today we have a very special, special, a special guest. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Shout out to the Spanish speaking community, all of my Latinos and Spanish very and Latinos. Very special. Very special mm-hmm. guest, man. We got Ali Almighty, man. What's good with y'all? Okay, so. How you doing today, baby? I'm all right. I'm all right. Drinking some water, chewing some gum. <laughs> gum? That's bad. That's bad podcast. You see, you already gonna get us canceled. I right, stick to the subject matters. Come on. Hey, okay. So, little baby. Uh, excuse me. Shout out to little baby. Shout out to Atlanta, man. But uh, not little baby. The baby. The baby. <laughs> gets clown for selling. Oh, this this man went to Toys R Us with it, man. This nigga went to Best Buy with it, man. This nigga went to Payless with it, man. This nigga got clown for selling buy one get one free tickets to a show that has less than 1500 people. Now, shout out to the LGBT everything community. But at the end of the day, what did you do to my guy? Honestly, can I be like Go super ahead. frank? Yes. Like you could be Anne Frank. <laughs> no, <laughs> not currently, right? No, no. Um. No. Okay, so this came out on XXL or whatnot that he sold like a thirteen hundred, so one thousand three hundred uh, capability of like people to go see his show, buy one get one free. Personally, I think in the current economic times that we're in. I think it works. What up, I gang? Think... What up, Willie? What up, Travis? Hey, that's that's yeah. the co-host right there, man. Shout out to Caddy, man. Where Everybody go you? follow Travis. I'm doing this now. <laughs> Dean dot seven three five, man. That's the uh, that's one of the co-hosts, man. But yeah, go, go keep going, baby. I'm I'm sorry. So I think that. I think it's valid in the current time. Not everybody's balling. It's so close to the holidays. Like honestly, why fucking not? Damn. No. Okay. So the whole point is the thing that you're that uh, Ali Almighty's not getting is that he's the baby. This nigga has he's a, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> his, his money looking like a baby right now. But at the end of the day, as a rapper, you shouldn't have to. That's that's pretty much like begging. If you have buy one get one free tickets, that's just like okay. In Atlanta, the Hawks suck. The, the Atlanta Hawks, the basketball team. Nobody wants to see them. You know what they do to get their money up and to get their promotions done? Mm. They give away free tickets to high schoolers. They say if you get over a certain uh, GPA, we will give you free tickets to go see the Atlanta Hawks. Mm -hmm. Do you have to do that for the Atlanta Braves? No. Why? Because people want to see them. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that for the LA Lakers. Basketball. NBA. And then what sport is the other one? The Braves? Yeah. Baseball. So the thing about baseball is that people get drunk in baseball no, games no, no, no. and they chill. Look, you're, you're missing then, the whole point. The whole point is basketball people have to. Are that's known begging. to be giving. No, they they're known to be givers in basketball. Basketball, yes. Yeah. Basketball. But this is past, a rapper. This I would is say just of an all analogy. the sports, basketball is just the most programs in the inner cities in all big cities, and it's just like natural that they give like um, that they give like kids tickets. Do they give and, away? L.A. Lakers tickets and L.A. Where was the show that he was like... Was... You see, you're dancing around and you're trying to be the nice guy in this situation. Somebody Nobody has to be to with the this baby. guy. People are black. No, the saying. LGBT community is blackballing... Wait, is he gay? The baby. He said uh, about a year ago, uh, if you, he at a concert, he said, I want to give a shout out to everybody who does not have AIDS or HIV. Oh, he's he the said, guy. This is that Raise your hand ass. if you never sucked. If he's a ass then. Okay, so that's why he's getting double clowned because he couldn't get the people there. And Atlanta's not a basketball city. Atlanta is like this. Atlanta mm-hmm. is a sports city, bro. What are you talking about? Who said Atlanta, that? Atlanta? Uh, shout out to Caddy. Travis said that. Did you want to? Did you want to cam up? He's the one that's really no sports, right? He does no sports. Atlanta's not a basketball city. Atlanta is a historically a basketball city, uh, in my opinion. But the Hawks? What do you mean, bro? He's like, I have an opinion. At some point, okay. Let's just even. Let's go with that. Atlanta's not a basketball city. Let's even say that he went to fucking Louisville, Kentucky. And you could say Louisville, Kentucky is not known for hip-hop and hip-hop shows and big venues. 
the baby, the little ass baby should still be able to sell a hundred, thirteen hundred tickets for what? Twenty, twenty five dollars, maybe fifty dollars at the most and be able to sell 50 times 1500 is what? Something fucking like. Hold on, 50 times 1500. It was $1,375. $75,000 worth of tickets, bro? You can't make $75,000. Actually, specifically, he would be making $65,000. You can't make $75,000 and you have a platinum record, bro. And you have countless songs on YouTube that have millions of views. But, this is but you can't go to a little ass town and clean up. when. And think, think about, people, a, think what about li- this. What was the little town? I don't know the town. I'm just giving an example. Whatever, it whether if it was a big, t- a big town or a little town, niggas don't have shit to do and they like your music. So let the baby be a proverb. Let him minister to you. Don't talk shit about the LGBT barbecue community or you're gonna get cooked, point blank. Okay, you can't play that because I'm putting this on YouTube. Okay, fine. So there what's goes. the next topic? Um, I was gonna look up to see what town it was. If you wanna answer very, Travis that's, and That's, that's out of the, that's, next topic. Okay, so you don't care? I don't. 1017, It was in North Carolina. Burr. And it was his own city? What? Relax, relax. This nigga? Bro, let Bone Thugs not be able to make $75,000 in Cleveland, Ohio, because they said some shit about a gay nigga. What kind of world is this? You can't even sell 1,300 tickets in your own state? You're dead, bro. You're dead. Dead. It's cause dead. You, it's cause Have you ever seen the movie uh, Casino? If you would have took my daughter, you would have been dead. Okay. Dead. Okay, dead. can I just say something like, what? This is... Okay, the thing is, like, hold it, cause um, I'm smoke. Anyone that says anything about gay people, most likely you're gonna get canceled because everyone has because somebody gay in their bullies. family, <laughs> and everyone and bullies bully. And there's so many people that are gay. So what the fuck? Why are you running your mouth trying to fucking shoot yourself in the foot? It's stupid. Like he said that he fucked him up. He of course he's gonna do two for one, cause he's trying to get in. Uh, he's like trying to make some kind of money. I didn't know he was the one that said those things about gay people. He didn't say anything about gay people. He said if you're if you just represent if you don't have HIV and if you didn't suck a dick, make some noise. That's not same saying anything difference like, because okay, I can HIV. See why somebody would, it's HIV like, is not exclusive to gay people. Drug addicts get HIV. Okay, relax, relax. Babies you're get really HIV. Lit. People who get fucking blood transfusions get HIV all the time. It's not a gay thing. It's a human thing. It's yeah, called, but the then H stands said, for human. It doesn't then, stand for homosexual. Then he said, if you didn't suck a dick. Suck a dick <laughs> what the fuck? Why, why, why is Even so the so girls so are going to be like, oh, shit. No, he said if you're a man and you didn't suck a dick on the, way to, on the way to this concert, make some noise. What's so wrong about celebrating heterosexuality? I get what he. I know what he it's was like, saying. It's like who the fuck are I know you, what he was saying. I dude? Know he was, like he was nah. inadvertently, he was indirectly, but directly talking shit about gay men. You're not famous but because you're the best blatantly. fucking rapper out there. You're famous because you're entertaining, right? And you have to captivate people's attention. You can't be a fucking total dick and, you know and what's then funny about that? expect he got everyone for to be a like diaper on stage, butt ass naked, wear a diaper on stage he got famous because he did a song with Lil Boosie he paid like a hundred bands to do a song with Lil Boosie and he did concerts with a diaper dressed like a baby because his name's the baby his original name was baby Jesus then he changed it to the baby then this fucking nigga put on a diaper now you want to what's the difference between Lil Baby I hope you're watching what's the difference between a nigga sucking a dick and you getting on stage butt ass nigga with a diaper on that to be honest what's the eyes. big difference something's burning my eyes I'm not saying, I, I'm not encouraging or discouraging either. I'm just asking what's the difference. Hold it like this because you might be covering the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I think the microphone's on the right. But, uh, yeah, man, next topic. Okay. You said, okay, the next topic was the Hold Jeff on, you guys. show Hold got on. renewed for a second season. Now, okay. why the fuck do people want to see this and what the fuck are they going to talk about? At the end of the series, if you didn't watch it, if you have baby eyes, baby ears, and a baby brain, you probably didn't watch it. So Fuck at you. the end of the day, I'm talking to every most people didn't watch it. It is number one on Netflix for a reason because a lot of people. Shout out to my uh, people with strong stomachs, man. Strong stomach gang, gang. T-shirt on the way. But at the end of the day, 
they alluded to the fact that they were gonna make a show about John Wayne Gacy, the killer from the suburbs of Chicago displaying. I actually live oh, in the Oh, the guy that was like the clown, the clown that we were talking about the other day. Yeah, okay. they alluded to the fact that they were gonna make a series about him, which I would love to see, because they, no pun intended, they killed that Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix shit, bro. It's, it was sick. If you don't have a strong stomach, if you know yourself and you can't handle certain shit, don't watch that shit, because it will traumatize you. It did something to my soul, and I'm a sick motherfucker, bro. So, if you feel like you can't watch it, believe yourself. But, what do you feel about that, them making a reinstallation of this of the Jeffrey Dahmer series? Um, I don't know if he got killed in the... So, I didn't watch he it. He got killed in the last episode, yeah. Yeah, I didn't watch it because I had already seen numerous documentaries throughout the years mm -hmm. and I'm not down with the reenactment or anything like that where where I'm got, I got to see some motherfucker doing some weird ass shit. I already follow a bunch of like goth people on that talk about murder or like people that talk about different stories. It's fine. I could hear the story, maybe see some real life pictures, but I cannot see the whole reenactment not right now in my current life <laughs> but i think if he's dead maybe they were gonna do a segue like during the same time because they weren't they they weren't they or wait uh gacy was like before gacy was before gacy was in the um 80s the 70s through the 80s and then and Dahmer was in the 80s and 90s 80s and 90s yeah he passed away what are these white people taking turns oops uh, <laughs> no man. i'm just saying shout shit. out to white people <laughs> But at the end of the day, yes, Jeffrey Dahmer um, got killed in, like, 93. Gacy got executed by the state of Illinois. Shout out to Illinois. In uh, 91, right after Daddy was born. So, uh, I think it's... I think that if they give the proceeds to the families, that would be delicious. But at the end of the day, I think it's... Uh, again, no pun intended. I think it's just overkill. They don't need to be keeping the investments of this man's life and uh, entertaining the people. You know what they do in the it's second a, segment? Like Have you ever seen like, okay, so what, what I've, I've seen about? a bunch of like documents throughout the years. Um, what they do in the second segment is they fucking give the other side of another person's perspective. They did that, so that's why you need to watch it. Oh, so, so I didn't want to watch it, so whatever. Let's go to the news. Okay, so what I do want to say, closing out this topic is, if you don't want to watch Jeffrey Dahmer, the show, at least watch the second episode. The sixth episode was the, the worst. It was so emotional. I didn't even know I had all them goddamn emotions. The sixth episode and the last two episodes. The thing that I, which I will reiterate, the thing that I kind of, that will make everybody feel crazy is that they tried to humanize Jeffrey Dahmer so much they made him feel like a likable, relatable person, which I think is sick in itself, but I like that about it. Um, but, man, just be humble and stay human, man. Next topic. Um, okay, I don't so. Know this is. About. This, is I, this is. Okay, so. Put the screen. I don't know if we could flip the screen. Put the screen on the screen so they can see the animation. Okay, so this is a, a depiction of a little black girl enjoying the fact that the Little Mermaid is black. And the second part of it is a room full of black little boys enjoying Dragon Ball Z and not giving a fuck that he is Asian. What's up, uh, Larry Jr.? Not giving a fuck that he's Asian and that he doesn't look anything like him, but they like his characteristic, his capabilities, and his superpowers and his abilities to save the world. Now, what do you think about that? Uh, I think it's a very political, socially aware cartoon. Really? Okay, tell me why. Because it's showing that the little girl um, is happy that the Little Mermaid looks like her, but people are so appalled and in an uproar because they made this historically white figure to be a mermaid that is black when the Little Mermaid is white. But the little black boys don't give a fuck that Goku is Asian or white American looking with blonde hair. They just care that he's a, a badass motherfucker, bro. That's the whole point. I think you could say the same thing about Black Panther. 
that so many little boys felt connected to it honestly to be real real like yes it's nice to have like different characters to look like you or like yeah you do here you want to use my water no use your um there's so many different characters can you hurry up um okay so there's <laughs> this is so weird there's uh like the fact that that um okay like back when i was a kid i was a kid in the 80s and 90s and they had wonder woman and it was like oh wonder woman is latina you know and of course she was being played by somebody maybe i don't know i forgot her name some white lady after a while and it was like cool she's latina you know like or she's Mexican or whatever and and it's and it connects but maybe because I'm an adult I tend to like think it oh no do wait did you just fill that up yeah. oh, okay I thought he was gonna pour my drinking water on there I was like no um should I show them this that you're doing <laughs> anyway so um yeah i don't think it's a big deal to be honest with you it's just not at first i was like what are they trying to say like dbc is dope they're not even supposed to be color because some of them are green and blue and then the whole thing with the little girls is because the barbie was such a big thing for so many years and there was no representation mm, like you should that. take off your shoes though I'm like before you put your feet up there um <laughs> or move the the thing um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I think it's fine. Uh, what do you think that's so political about it? I think they're saying that, um, I think that they're saying that if you care that the Little Mermaid is black, mm. then you're acting like a bitch, uh, to be honest, because mm. men don't care about being represented and they don't care about certain things. They just want to see you win and they just want to, they care about the internal because they want to be Goku as a skill set and as a character and not necessarily care about the fact that he's white. I I did care at some point that there's no black representation in Dragon Ball Z, but at the same time, nigga, that's not my culture. I this thought is it's a, supposed this to be is Japanese. A Japanese. Exactly. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry because Japanese people don't wanna represent black people because nigga they're not black. So who am I to go to Japan and tell them, Well, we're making you money, nigga. If you don't wanna watch it, don't watch it. If you feel like you're being disrespected or misrepresented, I think then that's a good you point. shouldn't watch the shit. And nigga, Little Mermaid is not an African. It's an American thing. Exactly. So why are you getting, why are you crying? Because they want to make some shit black. Which is fine. Which is more than fine. Like, what is the issue with her being, like, black? Like, Why do they it's cry ridiculous because Spider-Man even... is black now? They ha they've been having black spider No, didn't they make him white again? They've had black Spider-Mans. They've had Mexican Spider-Mans. They have had black Iron Mans and Supermans. And there's black Green Lantern. Everybody cries over this shit for no reason. It's so silly. And it's just that I think that picture is saying How that many actors and stories and movies have been changed from fucking people of color to white actors? What the fuck? Fuck off. Oops, can I say that on you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next topic. I think it's good, and I think it's a sneak diss to people who care about the Little Mermaid being black. I think that picture is saying that if you care about Little Mermaid being black, then you're thinking like a little girl. That's what I think it's saying, and I'm glad that they put That's that out. That's rude. Because <laughs> niggas don't care. Not a little girl, but at least like a woman. Okay, next subject. Adidas. Oh, this is like perfect time. Adidas will continue to sell Kanye West's Yeezy shoe designs, but they're going to take his name off it. Of course, like I said in videos previously, you can't do anything. Everything that I'm gonna just say it out. Like I said, shout out to white people. Everything that white people do has to start with a minority first. Everything, everything, and everything, and it will always be like that. Okay, can so I say something? So they're making money the off this nigga's shoes. They're gonna take it. They're gonna. That's just like. That's just like. <sighs> I can even say that because if I was by myself, I would say that. But that's just like somebody getting a divorce. We'll just say that. And taking this nigga's money, taking this nigga's house, oh. and fucking on the pool boy and letting the pool boy raise 
that nigga's kids. That's what Adidas is doing to Kanye right now. So, okay, so I want to be more specific about the shoe design. I know that there's like a couple of his designs, right? There's the ones that's like the foamy shoe, and there's the ones um, that are, let me just verify that, Yeezys. Yes, shoes. the ones, the little and croc looking ones with the holes in it. The ones with the crocs, but then there's also, I they think They didn't there's... say specifically, they said his shoe designs. His baby, his, sh his thought babies. Okay, let's look mind, at this. Here, here, let's children. look at these shoes, okay? His creation. So these shoes, this concept in particular, it's not like original the other the foamy shoe it's more it's more Are of you victim blaming no no i'm going to explain the shoes oh. and then i'm gonna then i'm going to she, talk about it and she's so, fat shaming because she said those shoes are fat okay I'm so i went i went to <laughs> i went to macy's yesterday at the grove which is like the fancy yeah which is like which is like the fancy like like rich area wait wait wait, 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 hold on hold on <laughs> You said you went to Macy's. She yeah, said. I was looking for makeup. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I went there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I went there and I saw the Yeezys. And they're still selling them at Macy's. I didn't see the other design. I think the other design is still, of course, there's only so much you could do with tennis shoes. And I, we, who doesn't love tennis shoes? We all, I love tennis shoes. Anyway, so I think it's fucked up, though, that they would be selling his shoe without him i would hope that he would be able to sue unless they own the whole copyright of his design mm. which would be the i would hope that he would not have done that i feel like he would have cut a deal <sighs> um and then they're gonna be like okay because they're like a i think they're like a german company right adidas yeah i think they're german Hold so on. that's not important but at the end of the day because they're doing business internationally the whole thing is from a moral standpoint. Um, you saying it's fucked up. As a moral standpoint, you're saying fuck the dude, just like everybody yeah, else says. We hate black people, but we love what they can produce. We hate the Mexicans, but we love what they do. Okay, That's Kanye. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up. The whole point of Kanye putting his energy into this system is because he felt like he needed some assistance. He felt like he needed this machine behind him. And now you are going to R word him and you're going to take his children and you're going to sell his children and you're going to change their fucking last name. I think it's that, slavery okay, all over I think, again. I think this that is speaking you're like, very, it's speaking very his, highly to his what biological motherfucker. Children? I'm talking about his thought babies. Okay, no, this is a metaphor. I was about to say, I was no, like, I'm not. <laughs> his children are his creation. What came out of his soul to make more souls no pun intended you're taking a piece of his soul that he puts so much art work thought blood sweat tears sacrifices <laughs> wink wink and you're gonna take it and you're gonna say i'm gonna take your bit i like you a little bit kind of but you're just not beneficial to me bitch but what i do want to do is i know you have these kids i'm gonna take your kids I'm gonna make them make more kids. And I'm gonna change their last name. Okay, Sounds can like I slavery. It sounds. It feels a little bit familiar, man. There you go. It feels a little familiar. Okay. Too much. So, look what these people will do to you. That's okay. why you gotta have your own shit. Uh, uh, so, um, yes, definitely. He went to Adidas. He, uh, they don't want to be associated with him because of those comments that he said as a general statement about Jewish people. And so then he went on Lex Friedman and was like, kind of like thought about it. And I saw another interview where he was like, okay, maybe I need to like be more specific, which is fine. However, they don't want to be associated because apparently not all publicity is good publicity. They don't want to be associated, especially since Germany had all that whole situation and they don't want beef with the Jewish people because that they're the ones that were prosecuting the Jewish people, right? No, Germany was not doing it. Hitler did. One nigga yeah, did Yeah, but it shit. was, yes, but it was still the people. And they paid them fucking restitution. You think, you think they... They paid them reparations and we give billions of dollars to fucking Israel every fucking year. Yeah, right now, actually, I And I don't actually, fucking I sign up for that shit. My I was tax just dollars, your tax something. dollars, my tax dollars, everybody's tax dollars is that going to fucking Israel, Israel every day they're, they're, and they fucking blow up all the shit that we built from them sometimes. Yeah, it's fucked up. And I, they kill babies every day. I don't want to give money to baby killers. Yeah, I didn't sign up for that. Supposedly, they're saying, I saw something in the news. Like Can I pay my taxes medium? to Mexico? I want to pay Mexican taxes. I want to pay American taxes. If you're going to give Israel my money, 
don't don't give ears you my money, America. You already did it. Donald Trump for president. But nigga Nah, nah, I disagree. Um can you I hold it? Hey, you hold it correctly? But Thank no, you. No, Israel, Palestine, okay, you got reparations, but now what, yeah. nigga? Okay. Like you give billions of people. Go ahead, bro. I'm cool. Okay. Are you? I don't know. He's already late and it's early. Um yeah, they, they're saying that there's going to be, like, some kind of restrictions, some kind of sanctions against Israel because um, they weren't following some kind of fucking, like, global <sighs> law. Hold on. Hold on. Let me speak. Stop interrupting me. Thank you. It's just, like, a thing that's still kind of up in the air, which I think you're right. I think when it comes right to it, Israel has been getting so much cut from, and it's fucked up what they've been doing to Palestinians and, you know... And in the people, the executives in like uh, the music business that were happened to be Jewish or were Jewish, whatever their strategy was, which is ironic what he said because it was some of the same things that they were saying during Nazi Germany. That oh, that oh, hold on. What what did he say? They no, said wait, during wait, Nazi Germany. Um, no, they were saying that Jewish people were um, doing like like fucked up business um, practices. And that's one of the things that kind of like triggered people because, okay, there's one person in Hitler, but you really to create a war, to create that kind of massive havoc, you need more bodies. And so you have to be objective when it comes to things like that because there's like, there was more than just one person. I'm sure there's still fucking Nazis in fucking Germany. So, but because the people, we're in a PC world where people want to be politically correct, Politically cunts. Whatever. <laughs> he's he's in no, he's in no condition right now. Um, I think I think it's just like controversial for people to to like. It's like there's no yes and no answers. Either way, back to the subject. Him getting his shoes stolen from this German company is fucked up. I think hopefully he has a lead way to sue them if need be. Um. Sometimes I think that things like this are diversions, though. I'm out. <laughs> let me let me speak. Let me clear one thing up. Now um, I do understand that the uh, the holo the Holocaust was an atrocity, but it wasn't a bigger the the the, the most disgusting, horrific, gross thing that ever happened in human history was the African slave trade. And I don't want to hear anything about anything that happened to anybody because there was nothing worse that affected the world and human history that I know of, that you know of, that your mother, your father, and everybody that you love and honor knows of. The Holocaust was horrible. The Trail of Tears, everything that happened to the indigenous, horrible, disgusting, gross. There was nothing worse than the African slave trade. At the same time, I don't want to take away any energy that came from the Holocaust and the 17 people that died in the Holocaust. At the end of the day, Hitler was not the only person who killed all 13 of those people, all the, of those Jews. But at the end of the day, we do have to understand that there's only so much you can do for a certain people because we've been doing it ever since it happened. I understand that 12 people were killed during the Holocaust seven years ago, and we paid them trillions of dollars over the course of 500 years. I do understand that. But we have to be sensitive to everybody. They're saying 1.3 million Jews. 1.5 Jews were killed during the Holocaust, and that's the, it's horrible. Jehovah's Witnesses, Spanish group. Oh, wait, Black wait. people oh, died look. too. Serbs, but at the, Poles, the next topic, I do. People, I don't want to seem. I don't want to seem like I don't care about it or anything like that. But at the end of the day, they had enough. Repar you cannot pay people reparations for for killing and enslaving. But if anybody got repaid, it was the Jews. At this point, black people and Hispanics and Spanish-speaking people and Portuguese-speaking people in the Western world have not been repaid whatsoever at all welfare food stamps all of that free school school should already be free so that's not a form of reparations knowledge is free if air is free knowledge should be free so there's nothing you could really do to repay my people and her people 
because it's just not you can't pay for it you can't you can't pay me to get over a loved one being lost and hundreds of millions of black people and latinos and spanish-speaking and portuguese people portuguese-speaking people are not here because of what somebody's ancestors did not my ancestors not hers somebody's but at the end of the day yes we're having fun we're turning up we're lit all of that <laughs> and uh next topic we're baby. changing the subject to a lighter mode <laughs> yes yes uh the fabulous the homie did go lighter i do agree the fabulous the the, the ineffable takes, ineffable <laughs> the, the wonderful the, honorable, the never the never aging the immortal <laughs> share share with no last no last name share game hey <laughs> she uh apparently they're saying that she stole amber rose's baby daddy Ooh. honestly dude i would leave you for share <laughs> you would leave me you would leave me for a bitch with no last name dude can I she give you a baby <laughs> she probably could oh she probably could <laughs> dude like he must be you didn't know Cher had a big dick dude share is like you know what they used to call her back in the boyfriend day. he's 36 uh, 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 make that was a different uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Cher's fabulous. Nah, nah, She's nah, nah. fabulous, and honestly, she must be on that human growth hormone. She got the HGH because she looks great, baby. What is human growth hormone? I don't know. You were telling me. I don't know either. I was telling She's you. She's seventy six, darling. She's seventy six trombones. She's from you know She's from Northern California, so you know she knows. Oh, what she to got do. that five. She got that good. She got that washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> she don't got washing machine. She got that washing machine. She's from machine. El Centro, California. She got that wash. 76 minus 36. She got that lean. She's got 40 years on him. Bro, she, every day that you were alive is what distances them. That nigga is not, nigga. Who you think you are, bro? What's that bitch that married the Hugh Hefner looking ass nigga? From Texas? Didn't the, all, the one the chick he that marry, died? Like, no, no, nah, nah, the Hugh. <laughs> uh, what? Not James. The James Mansfield looking ass chick with the big ass titties that died. <gasps> are you talking about Sharon Tate? Who are you talking about? Nah, she looked like Marilyn Monroe, but she was tall. Look at her, dude. She's beautiful, dude. Fuck she's that. not beautiful. The work she got done is beautiful. Her doctor's hands and abilities hey, are beautiful. Hey, somehow it all. She's works. four years younger than your mother. Could you see me in six years being with your mother? Nasty nigga. That wait, nigga wait. is nasty. In five years, I like. <laughs> that nigga is nasty, bro. Four, if you're four years ago, no, 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 eight years ago, if I was messing with your mother, would you understand that? Would you think your mother? I don't want to. Don't talk just, about my mother. Let's talk about not, your, your mother. Your mother. Let, no, 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 no. Let's not talk about, about my mama. Talk Let's about your mama. <laughs> your mama so fat. Damn, Let's nigga. Talk about take it to Let's the talk about <laughs> your family <laughs> shit like that. Nigga, I don't even got no mom. Fuck nigga. that. Oh. Okay, let's get it, man. <laughs> okay, let me look at the this next nigga. Topic. All you said was Atlanta was you didn't say y'all look a beautiful couple. No, no, nobody's gonna say because we're weird. Yeah. yeah. Man, who is okay. This nigga? Okay. Okay. This is a nice subject. Oh, what up, grandson? So Chris Rock said that he wants to say "fuck you, Will Smith." That smack was a bag. So Chris Rock is set to become the first ever comedian. To perform live on Netflix, bro. We need to call that bag flicks because Netflix is contributing Ooh. so much <laughs> <laughs> to the community as a whole, man. First, you get this, you get this wild simp ass animal. We gonna call, fuck Will Smith. We gonna call him Wild Smith. I think Will needed a vacation and he's gone now. He's on vacation. He needed a <laughs> vacation, man. That nigga was tripping, man. Yeah, you know. I guess we're all just human. But yeah, that was fucked up. He slapped up uh, Chris Rock. And Chris Rock, you know, he's always been... How funny do you think Chris Rock is, though? On a scale from one to three? I mean... Uh, one to ten. <laughs> one to <laughs> three points. On a scale from one to ten, Chris Rock is a three. I'm sorry. He's yeah, I don't funny. think... You know what? I liked him in Pootie Tang. Like, I've seen a He's couple a better of stand-up. He's a better actor Yeah, no, him. but you know what I think killed it for him? All those movies with Adam Sandler. Because they, What? Yeah, because I feel like he wasn't funny in the motherfuckers. Because, I don't want to say, shout, again, shout out to white people <laughs> and Jewish people. 
But Chris Rock is just, he's white people funny. He's not nigga funny. Like, niggas in the hood don't watch Chris Rock. It's like, the only nigga from like... the hood that I've ever, shout out to Caddy, the only nigga from the hood that I know that enjoys Chris Rock is Cadillac Daddy Trippie. <laughs> Go follow Travis.Nin.735. What is my it? Co-host. Tell us what is it about? He's not here. Chris oh. Rock, he's yeah, just like... dry. He's dry. His delivery. And then he goes like this. Every time I... I'm like, nigga, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? You know Chris Rock is- Like if he didn't like that, that taste, he's like, nah. This tastes a little like white people, buddy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this like <laughs> like he's, he's so, you know Chris Rock's on the spectrum. Dude, I Did hope- you know that? Uh, to, he, oh, okay, okay, Chris that makes Rock's sense. I personally think that it would be great for him to do something on Netflix. Why not? Give him a chance. If fucking what's not that? Not something. He's what's, going what's, live. What's that chick that's not also not funny? Um, uh, the white chick. With no, the, the black hair, chick. Amy Schumer. No, the black chick with uh, Davison that lives in South Central. With a um, the one that she saw like she ready. I don't know her name. Yeah, the exactly. One, Tanya or some shit. Like, I forgot. This bitch. This bitch is Central. She's but not she funny. But she writes her own. Like, she has, like, shows. She can just get... The one with Aerie Spears, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch. Yeah, yeah she's not... I don't think like, she's I've that funny. I've never seen her before. Um, but... I probably have in times past. Like, in movies, her, like, she was Google funnier than than in live, like, stand-up, it seems. But anyway, so... Like, Lunell. You know Lunell stays in South I Central. I think maybe this... That bitch is funny, man. Shout maybe out to this, Lunell, man. this will give... Um, a push for Chris Rock to be like, hey, like, I can say whatever I want now. nigga, this is a fucking And maybe, maybe it will be, uh, you know what, let's hope that it will. Maybe it'll be what he needed to step up even to be the funniest he's ever been, a become a legend. Maybe he'll be an so Eddie Murphy. So he could Murphy, be a five? Or he could be a Cat Williams. <laughs> or he could be a fucking... Okay, I'm going to control myself. <laughs> this is Vegeta control right okay, here. Okay, yes, this he's is, zen this right is now. Even, self-control he right only now. meditated for 15 minutes. I don't meditate for nothing. <laughs> okay, okay. So I think um, I think it could, it's like a good, a good opportunity Why for him. Why are you doing that? I know what that is. What is that? It's a... Uh, pressure point if you tap right here it calms you down oh really and it helps you reprogram your subconscious mind if you tap here like right here you tap here and you tap it with a circle is and you tap right here yeah that's cute i like that's why that I put it right there. now i was doing it right here though it's actually right here okay okay so this is i think it's a good thing what do you think do you think it's a good thing no i don't think it's a good thing because it's show- well it's a good thing for people who have some game let me tell you why because it's showing you it's like reverse Willie Lynch pretty much if you don't know who Willie Lynch is I'm not going to break down the whole thing but Willie Lynch was a some people say he was real some people say he was fictional which is where we get the word lynching from in the last Mm -hmm. name Brother Lynch all of that shout out to Brother Lynch I got that nigga for like four zones but uh, Willie Lynch was a, a a person hypothetically that wrote these papers on how to control slaves my people back in the day not all the not the jews not the uh, indians and uh, uh, it was irish slave, slaves uh. and black slaves um specifically saying that you can pin black people against black people by pinning the short people against the the um tall slaves you could the thick against the skinny the dark against the light the like a divide and conquer strategy the, the young against the old specifically for black people because we react differently than every everybody else so the fact that will smith smacked the shit the she smacked the the speech the soul the love out this of chris really rock lynch. really lynch was not a real he was not a real person and really Nigga, this shit came out. They're saying it's this guy. That's not him. him. Don't even show that. No. Because this shit was fucking 600 years ago. What are you talking about? They don't have pictures of him. Da Vinci was a long time ago, too. They don't have photography and electricity. No, it's a drawing. Oh, wait. This is a... Oh, wait. This is a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, um... It's showing people, if you act like Will Smith, if you act like the hard R, or if you try to defend yourself, or if you do something, then you're going to be, you're going to be persecuted and something's going to happen. Will Smith is not allowed to show up at the Grammys or the Emmy, whatever the fuck it is, for the next 20 years, bro. It's like 200 years. And he got nominated for a fucking Grammy right after that. He's supposed to be at the next Grammys this year. 
you know what I mean, or whatever the next year, I don't fucking know, but they're pretty much saying, number one, you could take it as this, if you act like a bitch, and if you let motherfuckers run up on you and hit you, or, or R words you, take what you have, disrespect you in front of the whole world, and fold, and be submissive as a black man, then you could be elevated. That's one message you could take. Mm-hmm. Or you could take the message that uh, if you conduct yourself like a gentleman, if you put the bag first, which is still trading your balls to ball, if you understand certain things in a specific arena, then um, it's going to happen for you. And you're going to get the money. You're not going to have your soul. You're not going to have your balls. Your woman is not going to fucking uh, respect you and honor you. Your children are going to think you're a bitch. Your, ch- your grandchildren are going to know you're a bitch. Your grandchildren's grandchildren's grandchildren are going to know you're the nigga who let a nigga slap you in front of the whole world and did nothing but act like nothing happened and got your money for these white people. So, uh, again, shout out to white people. That's the message that I take on both ends. So is it good? It's good for people who have some game and it's bad for people who just float through life and just think about money and um, okay. love money more than they love life. Let me bring to it me, back together. That's okay. my perspective. So I gave you the dualistics. So why do you think that it connects to the Willie Lynch papers? I, you lost me on that. Like Because I, it's a black man us- against a black man and they look different and they come from different backgrounds. They come from the same background. They took the same route. They're both fa- uh, family friendly famous yes but at the end of the day anything against the black any black on again that's the basic any crimes within the community when it comes to us it has to it has to do with slavery we can't escape it but as far as the willie lynch thing it's oh, because so one was tall one them was against short each other. one was more one is more historically aggressive as far as his roles one is more Will Smith is not a comedian. He think he was funny though. Remember Will when he Smith was is he's not a comedian. He's a rapper. Okay, he started out as a gangster rapper. A lot of people don't know that. Then he got us a lot softer within a couple songs. He did the Fresh Prince and Bel Air thing. He was funny, but he has movies where he's killing people. He has movies where he's beating the shit out of people. He played fucking Muhammad Ali. He's historically more aggressive than Chris Rock when it comes to personality and it comes to his roles in society as an actor. We don't... If you told me that Chris Rock was coming... Even Don Cheeto is more aggressive than Chris Rock. Don Cheeto played Iron Man and Don Cheeto was in prison movies. All kind of shit. Can I say something? You know who Don Cheeto is, right? Yeah. Can I say something? What if it's this whole, like, nice guys finish last thing? That's bullshit. That's the same thing that LGBT communities do. That's this. The, the, well, it's the, the return of the. Uh, the it's the nerds, return the of the nerd, nerd shit, bro. The nerds want to win too. But if you're look, bro, everybody doesn't deserve a trophy, and this is a everybody deserves a trophy moment, and that's how I am. That's well, how that's it how is. They I'm from the '90s, Americans. Nigga. You don't. They, we don't need to be soft because we're constantly <laughs> bullying other people's countries and killing people and telling them, well, "Oh, they you, don't want us you to need to be a democracy." <laughs> we all them fucking Egyptians we killed. Not we. I'm not in the army. All the Egyptians mm-hmm. the American army killed and made them be democ- uh, democratic and made them be feminists when they didn't give a fuck about that shit. They were perfectly fine. But they were saying, well, it'll be easier for us to do business with you if you're de- if you're a democratic state. This is what the first George Bush, the George Bush I was so, born okay, under. Okay, the George okay. Bush Sr. This is an interesting, uh, because I just saw an interview with Judge Joan Brown, right? I don't know if you were, he was there, but I don't know if he was listening. Um, Judge Joan Brown was saying that they're like, via media via various sources they're feminizing um people in general like or feminizing men and then me and him had a discussion men are, yeah men, because not people, because obviously um, y'all bitches going crazy all right i'll be there there um because of the whole situation remember we were talking about my uh person that i know had like uh i don't know let's just say that there was a a costume where the baby was a key said it was drag i didn't think it was drag anyway uh, the uh, feminizing okay sensi- sensitivity you know I mean? Thank you. okay yeah sensitivity we should have it like popped I up can tripod. i disconnect it can i go like this so no, I, mic, dude. Uh, I have a tripod, tripod too and i don't know where it is i know exactly where my tripod i'm not gonna get it there. but go okay. ahead go ahead I got so you. um 
you know sensitivity training is nice because it could be like i'll help you be more social and less um violent however though me growing up as a fucking angry youth in the 90s dude i was the so 90s, yeah huh? <laughs> shut up <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is not an interview about me <laughs> anyway so like me growing up as a as a kid and being like being to punk being into like into like rock or being into gangster rap and really being kind of aggressive and not settling for what the system or what every everything was offering um and i think a lot of youth now like i see it in my child my child's nine and he's like sometimes like it's angry and he needs a little bit of violence or a little bit of ang like something hardcore to let it out um i don't know what's the whole goal i guess making people docile to and making people just not strong specifically men i guess to not to be able to express themselves and that shit is kind of fucked up because if you think about it it could turn into anything else it could turn into Thank like you. self that's hate what to it Will could Smith. Turn... that's why he smacked the shit out of chris rock because do you think he would have smacked the shit out that no, what I no, think does Will Smith, it all probably the needs to that box, he just, all do the, some the, grappling. The energy that he gave Chris Rock, I'm not saying that you should hit women because they make you mad all the time, sometimes. Um, but Will Smith no, should have took that aggression out on his woman. No, hell I'm no, saying, I'm not I say, standing did for I the shit. That he okay, okay, I think you need to I relax. Said, You're smoking no, no, no. a cigarette. Right? I, didn't say, okay, I didn't say that the nigga should have hit her. I'm saying that no, he should have actually been in. I'm saying that he should have. He should have put himself in a position where he shouldn't have felt the need or the want to put his hands on a fucking comedian for telling a goddamn honestly, joke. Honestly, honestly, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Can I be real? I'm not saying like, that. Like, honestly. I'm that if he would have had more dominion and control and, and, and emotional, um, emotional self-awareness, emotional intelligence, then he wouldn't have been in the position where he would have been entirely recovering. Can I mic. can I say something about that? If he would have put that? that energy into his own household, but not smacking anybody, putting his hands on anybody, putting his, himself in a position where he could have been in possession of the state of whatever he lives in, he would have not felt like he needed to put his hands on a fucking com a smaller, com a significantly smaller, physically weaker comedian for telling a joke. If he would have. If he would have had more control in his life over his woman like he's supposed to, <laughs> instead of his husband, <clears throat> then he that wouldn't have ever so happened. So I disagree. Because when okay, you keep yeah. that pent up energy, yeah. when you keep that pent up energy, it's gonna go somewhere. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Okay, let me tell you this. First of all, I kind of think that that was a setup because I saw a video weeks later of like the same scenario, the exact same scenario. You think this Hold on, I'm talking. To Damn, did I interrupt dollars? you when you were saying that yes. foolish ass shit? That wasn't foolish. <laughs> okay, so I think that I saw the scenario. Yes, sometimes you need to get the fuck out, and you don't give a fuck what it costs to get the fuck out. Sometimes it's time to fucking go, and it doesn't matter what's there. If you have to go, if the good, the bad outweighs the good, then you have to fucking go. I think it was a reprint. I think um, I think it was like a redone. And I think it was like, I think Chris Rock could take it. He's a fucking skinny man, but he's a man. So, and he just slapped him. He didn't fucking sock him. So, honestly, I think what? it's not a fucking big deal. Fuck it. I want to move on. Here, read the next one. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Slapping somebody is more dehumanizing and more humiliating than getting punched. If I would rather get punched in the face in front of my woman than get slapped. If you slap me, I'm going to kill you. If you punch me, we can square up. Then I'm going to kill you. But at the end of the day, I don't want people I to do. think that I'm in uh, endorsing men putting their hand on women um, first. I don't think it's right. Yeah, cause it's stupid. Dude. I don't think it's right. If there's nothing anybody can say to another person to uh, entice them to put their hands on them. If you do, then you're an animal. You need to learn some communication skills. You need to learn yourself. And there's nothing that you can say to me or anybody that I rock with to make me put my hands on you. It's not necessary. You can call me all the bitches. You can call me all the hoes. You can say anything about okay. anybody I love, but I'm not going to put my hands on you. 
<laughs> but my point was not first. My point was here goes grandma. Here goes grandma. Okay, last last one. Here, let's change the subject because I'm over it. It says Southside post video on his son in class with his teacher who admitted to being racist and saying that white people are superior. Go ahead and race. look for that video and play it. I don't know what why you didn't send that? me the video. Did you post this? Because I can't. I didn't even tell. post it. It's on no jumper. Oh god. So pretty much he said that he is uh racially biased. He said who, who is this? the teacher. Southside is a a, a very famous producer um mm -hmm. from Atlanta. Shout out to my city. But he post his son posted a picture of his um Caucasian teacher saying that he is and racist. his son is and his son is uh Caucasian as well. Southside is a black man. I don't know. Because look at the picture. There was a bunch of white kids there, too. Okay, uh, Southside is a black uh, mm -hmm. beat maker and producer. He produces for 21... He produced for everybody. Future, 21 Savage, Gucci... Anybody that you know and you love and respect in the rap game. Not hip-hop artists, obviously. But he probably made something for mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar and people who spit uh, multi-syllable lyrics and things like that hip-hop that's identifiable yeah get this shit away hip -hop from me has, but at the end of the day Southside sends his teach uh his son that he loves and honors his seed his essence to a private school i believe he's in middle school where his white I'm teacher sure. admitted that he was racist so i'm gonna look for the video he's gonna look for the video so how do you know who's in here? Ew. Like, I wish he would just turn off the fucking okay, cigarette, bro. dude. That shit was blowing in my hair, dude. Anyway. So, we're almost he done. paid millions of dollars. Let's just say. Or he was prepared to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for his child to go to this private school so wait you're saying this guy named Southside he's like a famous um you said like music producer, producer that he went and put his child in a private school and then and then the, the, his kid recorded the teacher saying that white people this old white man which apparently was the picture on the sh on the thing you sent me he said that he believes his his race is superior he he's, he's a self-admitted racist. <laughs> That's crazy. Here, I'm going to post on here. Bam. So going back to the last topic, like I said, I didn't get to finish my statement. I don't think it's right for men to initially put their hands on women. But at the end of the day, um, if he had more dominion, Will Smith and his household, he wouldn't have to take his anger out another man because that slap that he gave to Chris Rock could have been broken down to logical conversations maybe a yell maybe whatever he had to do in his life to prevent him from taking his anger out on other men that can't defend himself against Chris Rock uh, Will Smith has been growing up with Chris Rock ever since he was in his 20s Chris Rock and Will Smith are about to be 50 um, in a couple years so what I'm saying is, he knows Chris Rock. Everybody knows who to play with. He knew that Chris Rock wasn't going to do shit. He knows that he's much smaller. He knows that he's not combat trained. And he took his energy out on somebody that's the size of his own husband. Uh, oh, excuse me. No, wife. it's not. His wife is way smaller. Jada Pinkett Smith and Chris Rock are twins. I actually Googled it. They were born at the same time. They're the same height. They're both built like women. And he's not they, as they, short as she is. The, they both have the same stature Give my phone. of a Let me seventh see. grade little girl. And he knew he could smack the shit out of Chris Rock and there would be zero to no consequences. And that's why he did it. Because he really wanted to take that energy out in a healthy way. But he didn't know how to do that in his own household. That's what I'm saying. And that's my point. And I'm done this with is that. elongating too long for me. That's why I'm just looking for the. So this is elongating. Is there a final subject? Because I'm kind of like, hey, cool. Thanks I want to play this here. clip for the jam. people if they that did not to take do. it down. Yeah, I work. We are. <laughs> Nobody's anything. <laughs> my, my niggas, the, we hustle. We ain't got no job because you don't want thing. 
So Man, yes, if you my job, dead plant. I'm just playing. I love my plant. It's dying. Signs, uh, sun, teacher. This is where I could be playing music. You should just send me the link. South side. South side. South side. <laughs> no, no ads. Video of his son in class whose teacher said that he's a racist. And now what I do want to say is, while I, um, damn, you got 5G, car. I had to take this Wi-Fi out. Okay. So what I do want to say about racism, I don't have a problem with races, to be honest. I'm from the South, and I was uh, halfway raised in Chicago. Chicago is... Yeah, I don't know what's going on because I had to um, um, do a double thing with my... Can you take the Wi-Fi out? Because it's like connecting and we're not close enough for the Wi-Fi. But you don't want him in here. Here, I'll hook my phone and you hook this one. No, I gotta go inside. I'm coming out. It's the shadow. Yes, sometimes. They're fine, so hang on. like a nationalist for his own race kind of like a nationalized now he's like it's like a okay it's, Wait, do we have everything that, that you need no i need like tacos and i need like, to respond to this we have everything i think okay this is the last topic last topic Okay, so we got good. Set, put a timer on seven minutes. Okay. Let's get it. Okay, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Dude, just give me seven more minutes of your beauty. No, Papa, the people want to see you, Ali. No, they, they want don't. me to touch they you. Don't give a fuck. And guess what? We're gonna do after this: eat tacos. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go personally. I'm gonna go get some cigarette. But after this, I'm gonna put four minutes. You already know what's gonna happen. Four minutes. You already know. Okay, so this teacher, I believe that this was. It was inappropriate because people don't understand that racism is perfectly natural. That everybody, uh, racist, racism is genetic. You can do your research. It's not pseudoscience. It's natural. Like I said, I've explained to you this many times, many, many times. If you are not, if somebody is not 
physically attracted to their own race, that is considered a mental health issue. Gentlemen, if you just love the, the white woman so much, if you just love the Latino one, you just think that Mexicans or, or, or Spanish women are the most beautiful thing in the world. Just God just did not make any mistakes when they made white women. And you're a black man and you cannot get an erection to a, a black woman, no matter if they did anything that you sexually desire. You have a mental health issue. Your mom did something to your grandpa, whatever that happened, your dad, whatever. That's a mental health issue. Racism, the definition of racism is believing that your race is superior, just like this man said, believing that your race is superior to all, to all other races. Do I believe that black people are superior in every fashion? No. But just like a, just like everyone, just like an Asian man, just like a just like a black man, just like a white man, just like a everybody else. There's only really three races. Just like everybody else, as far as the super races are concerned, that's on you. Everybody believes that their race is superior in some form of fashion. You might want to call yourself open-minded, you want to, whatever it is, you believe your race is the best at doing something, whether it be dancing, making love, whether it be something so small as making uh, food or whatever dish that you, that you, that you desire, you know what I'm saying? If you think that Mexicans make the best tacos and you're Mexican, you're by definition a racist. So Duh, it's, no, it, no, we invented tacos. What you think? No, okay, so the fact that you <laughs> say that tacos are natural for people. The people take bread and fold it in half. That's not every a taco. Day. That's a sandwich. Well, some people call that taco. No, that's stupid. Just like when you said that stupid that chicken wraps are wraps. <laughs> They're not wraps. They're burritos. The white people always try to colonize it. And they call it. It's not a wrap. It's a you burrito. know what's close to them? The the uh, gyros from the Greeks. But their pitas are so much more That's bigger. bread. That's not corn mashed together. And yeah, goats. but that's like, it's kind of close. And that's actually same, some like, African folding shit. shit. And so we just yeah. don't eat goats. Oh, have you had African tamales? They're pretty good. Not quite. It's like, like they're mainly made of Racist. beans. <laughs> you never even okay, had them. Okay, no. Respond to Southside. Or Curry. To Southside. Put another four minutes on there. Three no. minutes. I'll, I'll do it in one said minute. My response. Okay, okay. The response with that, I think that teacher was trying to justify himself and make a differentiation between being a nationalist, which what I think is the definition, but I'm not really quite sure. I would have to go more into the dictionary, but- um, A nationalist is when you think your race should stick with your or race your, only. your nation is more, and then, you know, personally, one of the- They old, call it nationalism. Okay, let me finish. Sure. One of the old rules of like the activist and progressive movement, the left, the hard left, not the Democrats, but I'm talking about the, like the red left, was if you were a person of color or like a black person, a brown person, an Asian person, you were entitled to be a nationalist. You, it was like, it was like a, like. Expected? Expected, but also. Encouraged? It, not necessarily encouraged, I'm pausing it. But it was like, um, it was more like, like appreciated, applauded versus white people because with uh, your Eurocentric ideals, like that's cool that they're Eurocentric in Europe, but because they have caused so much havoc and rage on the world's communities, that's why they weren't, it's not as accepted because automatically our brains go to fucking KKK or you go to Nazi or to that kind of like, like, oh, you think you're better than everyone else, which is, which is, a, it's, it's a double-edged sword because in reality, because they did all that, because they did all that, it's, it's, um, and you know, there's a lot of white people having babies with white people. It's fine, but um, <laughs> and they're like trying to populate their shit. And and there's a lot of black people they love only black relationships, and only honor that. And there's a lot of Mexicans that do that. And there's a lot of like Asian people. Everyone, you know, a lot of people stick to their own race. Like in our case, of course, we're like a little, we're more open, and we fell in love with each other. Open. Okay. Well, we fell in love with each other, right? <laughs> Why are you trying to be? <laughs> Look at her. He's going to start another video. <laughs> but, um. I like her. <laughs> I think he was, like, trying to. He was trying to create that differentiation because he does not want to feel guilty for being white and really um, loving being white or 
thinking he's the best or some weird ass old shit. And I think it's a that. good thing. You don't want to dismiss yourself? Uh, I'm here. Formally. Okay, look. I think it's a good thing. I think that people should appreciate themselves. I think that racism is perfectly healthy in a lot of different situations, but at the end of the day, um, it's about what you do with it. It's about what you do with your racism. To be honest with you, if you wanna uplift your people and you don't wanna harm other people, I applaud you. A lot of people are saying, oh, we don't like Donald Trump because he's racist. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you think or what you feel. Are you gonna do your goddamn job? Okay, Barack Obama wasn't racist, but that nigga didn't do his motherfucking job. No, you gotta tell the people that you're leaving, bro. I'm leaving because I gotta go pee and cook. And because Aaron and me have to you eat You said you soon. gotta pee and cook. Yeah, I gotta do two things. At the same damn time? No. Oh, not, not simultaneously? Just... <laughs> All right, what's no. Well, Sorry for being so graphic. Okay, bye, baby. All Enjoy. right, it's Ali Almighty, mm -hmm. man. She tuning out, man. Bye, See you, you guys. next time. Bye. But I think racism is, I mean, you could think what you want to think. I really don't give a fuck. As long as you do your job and as long as you have a function in society and you serve it. So you could say Donald Trump was racist. Oh, okay, Barack Obama wasn't racist and people liked him, but he was not an effective president. So what does that say about what somebody thinks about another motherfucker or what they think about themselves? That has nothing to do with the position that you hold in life. It doesn't matter. That's why I don't police people's thoughts because you could be the nicest, kindest person, but you could also still be a bum-ass person. You could be a mean-ass person to other people, but you could donate to charities and help all these people. Just, just be a blessing. Just be a beneficial person in general in life. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, um, I think this teacher was being inappropriate because these kids didn't have the capacity to understand the importance of what he was saying. And as an educator, you have that responsibility to understand your audience and to be able to communicate with them effectively. You get what I mean? So at the end of the day, what I do want to say is this dude was an older gentleman. He was probably overwhelmed. And it seemed like it was early in the day. It seemed like it was maybe first, second, third period. It was not lunchtime. That man had low blood sugar, man. Get that nigga a snicker. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, what I do want to say is, uh, those children were not, th those, look what I said. Those children were not ready for that message because they didn't understand. And as it says, as it says in the Bible, man, and in, in the Helios Bilios, man, you got it with all getting, you have to get understanding. You have to get understanding. If you don't understand, you can have all the knowledge in the world. You can have all the everything, but if you don't have understanding, I'm like, you don't have anything. You don't have the lesson. It's just gonna, it's gonna go over your head, and you're gonna take this and blow it out of proportion. Is this man gonna lose his job? Is he gonna get suspended? Is he gonna commit Harry Carey? We don't know that. We don't know that. I don't know what's gonna happen in this situation, and I hope that nothing happens in this situation besides him learning how to fucking talk to little kids with his dumb ass. But at the end of the day, we do have to understand understand that what he said was 110% appropriate, but the audience, the children, these motherfuckers who barely even know right from left if they don't have a fucking PlayStation controller in their hand, why the fuck would you say, if you don't, what he should have done was explained what I just explained to you in simplicity in a way that could not be misconstrued that could not be, no, that could not be misinterpreted. That could not be taken any kind of way other than what the fuck he was saying. He could have broken down, like I said for you, scientifically. Genetically, racism is imprinted in us. It's something that cannot be destroyed, but it's something that cannot be created as well. Everybody thinks they're the best at something, just like you think that you're this and you think. But he didn't do that, bro. He he was he responded emotionally to whatever situation they presented to him, and it was totally inappropriate in the context that he communicated it, right? So, do I want to take his his uh, degrees away from him? 
Do I want to take all the history away from him? Do I want to take all the, the credibility that he has as an amazing teacher? I'm sure he did his job well, or he wouldn't have still had that job at that elderly ass age. But at the end of the day, he snapped. He popped. He lost his cool. You know what I'm saying? The ice cubes in his freezer got too hot, man. And his water evaporated. So I do want to say... Dr. Frankenstein, Professor Frankenstein, you fucked up. At that point, he knew he fucked up. At some point, he knew he fucked up because you heard the tone of his voice. So I do want to say this, man. When you have a message, make sure as the messenger, your audience is laced properly. He gave them emotions. He gave them emotions. They're little kids, nigga. They already had emotions. They didn't need emotions. They needed something that starts with a G, baby. Say it. What? <laughs> I said at the end of the day, he gave them emotions instead of giving them... It starts with a G. Who are you talking about? The teacher. He gave them... He gave them emotions. He was frustrated. He said that Just out of frustration. They didn't need emotions, my nigga. They needed some game. Oh gosh! <laughs> are you are you done? I am. Thank you. So I just want to say this, man. Oh In all getting, get understanding. And every time you feel the need to give somebody emotions, I need you to take two steps back, three if you need it. Take two breaths, three if you need them. And don't give them emotions. Give them some game. Enlighten the people. In all getting. Get understanding and all giving. Give them some game. It's Air <laughs> Moses. I'm the bang, you the bang, we the bang together, man. Oh, it's Air Moses and Ali Almighty, man. Hey, hey the teller two A's. I'm the bang, you the bang, we the bang together, man. Life is in the breath. Give me this. Hey, Bye, breathe it in. Peace.